We're back on this fun day with today's moms, talking about the princess phenomenon and what it teaches our young daughters. Yeah, Peggy Ornstein explores this topic in her new book. It is called Cinderella Ate My Daughter. <laughs> Psychotherapist Stacey Kaiser is the author of How to Be a Grown-Up. Ladies, welcome to both of you. Thank you. This is interesting. I mean, Peggy, uh, when you were a little girl, I guess mm -hmm. you probably dressed up or maybe you did all those kind of things. What makes it different, any different now than it was back when we were growing up? Well, what's different now is that there is an unprecedented amount of marketing and focus and emphasis on little girls, really little girls, mm -hmm. and encouraging them to embrace beauty and play sexiness as yeah. what they do. Hmm. And that just really wasn't the case when, when you and I were little. So when we were little, maybe we got our, you know, our first Bonnie Bell lip smackers mm -hmm. when we were 12, sure. maybe. Yes. Right, right, and now right. they have the full array when they're four, which, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know, maybe that's okay, but when I mean, but when we were little, didn't, I'm just playing devil's yeah. advocate here, I'd go in and pl put my mom's lipstick sure. on and walk around in her high heels and, you know, wrap her pretty dresses and things around right. me, right? Oh, yeah. That's all natural and normal, right, Stacey? Right. It's all normal. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, it is marketing because it does lure in the kids. It's also their friends, but it's the parents who have the credit cards. Yeah. And so I say with the infiltration of all of this princess and sexism stuff, we have to be more powerful parents. Yeah. We have to be on our game more than ever, and a lot of parents just aren't. The thing that bugs me about the princess stuff isn't so much the dressing up and all. It's the whole that you think a guy's going to come in and save you, like your prince is prince coming. Prince Charming. And I think that's something that a lot of kids grow up believing and realizing later that that's not really oh, the case. I have, adult, I have adult clients, yeah. women, that come to me and they're, still, they're waiting to be rescued. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. And then there's this entitlement, you know, this sort of entitlement factor. You know, my daughter is seven now. And she got for her um, for her birthday this year. She got a make your own messenger bag kit, which is you know fine. She yeah. got oh, what kit? Make, make your, your own, own messenger, messenger bag. bag. You know, like oh. a purse uh -huh. thing with uh, with iron on transfers that were like hearts and flowers mm -hmm. and this and that. And then there were ones that said brat, spoiled, yeah. and pampered princess. Yeah, like those are like good things. Like, like those are a badge good, of yeah. honor. And she, That's to fun. her credit, you know, looked at them and said, Mom. Why would anybody want to put those on their purse? Mm -hmm. I was like, you know, well, unless you're raising Paris Hilton, you yeah. know. I, I don't well, know. Well, explain the sexualization part, because I mean, my niece dresses up in Cinderella costumes. So what? Like that doesn't. I don't get that. How do you? How do you draw the parallel? Well, you know, I think it's a connecting the dots thing, and mm -hmm. there's this flume ride that little girls sort of get on when they're very little that starts with pink and pretty, yeah. and pretty soon turns into this other thing. And I always say that, you know, one place that you can really see it is with those with the flesh and blood. Disney princesses, you know, Miley and Selena yeah. and all those girls, yeah. that they start out, right, with the wholesome and the purity rings, the you know, with the chastity, right, right. and then, and saying things like, I, you know, I'm way young and I like it that way, and I pick clothes moms approve of, and then, you know, boom, three next, months later. Do you think that that's next a big you're on the stripper, on the stripper, you're on the stripper yeah. I mean, yeah. people right. are deaf, you know, girls are getting sexier younger, clothes are way more revealing, yeah, what yeah. they allow in school is way more revealing, but again, it comes down to the parents. If you are a good role model, if you're teaching your kids the right values, that's how they're going to be raised. They're not going to be influenced by other people if you're present and communicating and involved. Hmm. You know, and I would also say that you really have to find things that you can say yes to, because you're never going to convince you your daughter. you got to pick your fights also, yeah. though. Yeah. That you you don't want to be against choices. everything all the time. Right. Then, right. By saying, no, 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 no. So you have to find things that, you know, that, that allow her to celebrate girlhood and being a girl, which she really wants to do. And needs to do, and that but you. How like, do you know, you know when it's too much, though? You know, when is it? When too she's much? watching I, Skins. I, I do, I, you know what? I always, you know, you guys have heard me say this before. We're we're raising adults. We're not raising children, and yeah. so everything is about moderation. You're trying to teach that early. So yes to princesses. Yes to Hannah Montana. Just not only that. Right. They have to have uh, athletic supplies. Right. They have to have books to read that are stuff. You know, yes. cooking, arts the and crafts. All those play. things have right. to be Nancy Drew, well. who yeah. did stuff. Nancy I love Drew. Nancy yeah. Drew. She's great. Yeah. 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 Okay, so keep it all balanced. Okay, yeah. that yeah. makes sense. Great. Great. Thank Thanks, you very guys. Much.